My fellow Turbros, for you, the day that Steve Turbo graced your YouTube was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. What is up, all my fellow Turbros? This is Steve Turbo coming to you with today's TurboCast, and today it's all about Street Fighter V, baby. I have been waiting on the latest announcement for Street Fighter V ever since, oh god, what was it, uh, March when Charlie was revealed, and I was so, so sick, and I really didn't have a chance to report on Charlie, so I'm going to try and mix it into this video, talking about Bison, but we're going to talk about Bison first, that's the most important part. What did they do? What is different within Bison? Does he look different? Does he play different? What's the deal with the Dictator? Find out in today's TurboCast. Let's go! So right away, uh, in Bison, I gotta admit, at first I was a little, uh, I mean, I like Bison as a character in Street Fighter V, but he has been in everything so far. And I felt, I feel like there are, there is a better villain, overarching villain in Street Fighter rather than M. Bison, but I mean, he is a classic character. But let's, let's not waste any time, man. I'm not going to talk about this. So, M. Bison, what did they change? So, let's talk about the appearance of the character. So, M. Bison, as you can see, almost has kind of like a, a like blondish white hair now. Um, he has a brand new set of kit or a brand new set of clothes. He's uh, kind of brushed up his wardrobe a little bit. He looks quite sinister now. I mean, he always did, but he always kind of had like a cartoon villain campiness to him. But this time, he really does look quite intimidating. So, some noticeable differences I've seen is that he is basically teeming with psycho power. I mean, he is absolutely pouring it out of him. Which leads to his move set, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But the particle effects on Bison are absolutely glorious to look at. Just rich, deep purples. Absolutely gorgeous looking colors just coming from him, which tells me that this is going to be just a treat for the eyes when this game is completely done. Um, but... Bison so far looks great, and I didn't think that the white hair would work for him as well as it did, but damn does it work, and does it work well. I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with what Capcom has done here. But what about the moose set? What is different? How is he going to play? Is he going to play the same? Is he going to play different? Next! So right away, Bison's entire moveset has seen a dramatic overhaul. I mean, he has got some tools that he has never had before. I, I mean, starting with, and what I noticed to be the most important thing, is that he has Rose's fireball counter. In other words, her little her scarf absorb where she would absorb a fireball and fling it right back at you. He has that, which kind of confirms in this story that he has absorbed Rose back into himself. And that is what I'm assuming has led to his actual physical and physical appearance change. Um, so yeah, it looks like, uh, sadly, for all of you, just like James, who had Rose as your waifu, I'm afraid she's gone. She is now one with Bison. So, what about his other moves? Well, I mean, I've watched the trailer probably three times now, and there's probably some stuff that I'm going to be missing. I'm going to have to go and reanalyze the trailer again. So right away, some big things that I noticed that a lot of Bison's moves have some really interesting properties to them. I mean, his... Oh, how do I word this? I've never actually fully learned the move, but his slide kick. His his kick where he, he slides across the ground actually does a launcher into the air, creating the some pretty huge combo potential. His EX Psycho Stomp actually does an off the ground. He has what seems to be kind of like a fire pillar move. I, I, I saw this briefly in the trailer and I was trying to figure out exactly what it was. It also seems like he has some kind of strange projectile ability, but perhaps I'm not seeing it right. I mean, they don't give you a whole lot to chew on with Bison's trailer. They only give you a little bit. They only give you a little morsel of what to expect. So until I actually see the character in full action, I can only kind of make guesses as to what these moves are. But it looks like Bison in this one is going to have some absolutely insane combo potential. 
I mean, this, he looks like a monstrous character. He looks absolutely insane. He's very, very scary looking. I think that a lot of Bison players are going to be pretty happy with the changes. Um, but I got to say, I am incredibly impressed with what they have done with Bison. I mean, they have almost made him a completely new character. Now, again, guys, these are just first impressions of what I've gotten from the trailer. So until I see actual gameplay, like full on, like pro gameplay, where we can kind of slice apart what actually is going on with Bison's changes, I can only go by what I briefly saw in the trailer. So as of right now, Looks like he's got insane combo and juggle potential. He looks like he's going to hit like a truck. His teleport game is still strong. He looks like he is going to be an absolutely incredible character. They have given him maybe too many tools, but awesome looking character. Great, great, great. I couldn't kind of make out what he can do with his instinct ability. At least that's what I'm calling it right now because that's kind of what they look like in this version of, or in Street Fighter V. But, I mean... I'll have more on that when we learn more on Bison, so I'll be sure to report back to you guys once we know all that. So like I said, I wanted to kind of work in some thoughts and impressions of Charlie when, you know, since I really didn't have the opportunity to do it before, I thought it was too late, but this kind of gives it a good opportunity to do it now. Charlie looks absolutely incredible. Um, now again, I haven't watched Charlie's trailer in a little while, but some takeaways that I got from it was that he is basically a part of Gil's Illuminati now. He is basically part of Gil's organization. They have basically found what remained of his body, brought him back to life, and implanted a third eye gem in his head. No, Street Fighter V's not going to have gems. Calm down. They're not going to do that stupidness again. Or are they? I don't know. But regardless. So. Charlie, right away, I absolutely love his look. Now, he definitely got some new tools in the game as well. So, a lot of his moves are still the same. I mean, he, of course, has his sonic boom, his uh, flash kick, a lot of the things that made Charlie great. But most notably, he has a teleport and his Rugal's Genocide Cutter. This is a big one, guys. This one is absolutely amazing. For those of you who don't know who Rugal is, most people will prominently know him more from Capcom vs. SNK than they will the older SNK fighting games. So, with that Genocide Cutter, it's really interesting. I mean, I can't help but wonder how that comes into play and whether or not Capcom vs. SNK 2 took place in the canon Street Fighter universe. But all I can say is Charlie looks absolutely incredible. So far, all these characters are looking absolutely great, and Street Fighter V is shaping up to be an amazing game. But I kind of think that sort of to Sony's funding of the whole thing. So I think with all that extra Sony money po being poured in, they're really giving it an A-plus effort, and they are really just doing a complete overhaul with the characters themselves. Now, a final thought for all of you after this small analysis. So I've seen a lot of people complaining that Street Fighter V doesn't look too different in art style compared to Street Fighter IV. Uh, I've, ha I've heard a lot of people say that it doesn't look as good as MKX and whatnot. And Okay, so I will admit that at first I thought the same thing. I was like, it doesn't look too much different than Street Fighter V until I really looked. I would suggest that you watch both trailers side by... I, I would suggest that you watch a Street Fighter 4, like, just match video, and compare that side by side with Street Fighter 5. Really look and pick apart the differences, and you will see that there are a ton of differences in the art style. There are more, m way more noticeable details in each and every character than ever before. Also, I mean, just g the general look and feel of the game is way different. It looks like it's going to be a vastly different game than Street Fighter IV was. I'm really excited to play it. The one thing that you guys have to realize is that fundamentally, pretty much every Street Fighter game is going to be similar. Uh, but, I mean, you have to really get down into its core in the metagame. That's when you start to notice the differences in what sets each Street Fighter apart. And it looks like this one, you know, unlike the last game where it focused on, like, focus dash cancels and that kind of thing, it looks like in this game they're more going to focus on, like, kind of, like, instinct moves and that kind of thing. But we'll see. Again, we don't know enough about the system of Street Fighter V to, for me to make an accurate description of what it's all going to be about. But the good news is, is that when I know, you will know as well. I will do in-depth study to get that to you guys. I just kind of wanted to give you guys my impressions of the Bison trailer and a little bit of the Charlie trailer and all that. 
It really looks amazing so far, and I couldn't be more excited. James and I still play Street Fighter 4 to this day, and we are most certainly going to be playing Street Fighter 5 when it comes out. One other thing that I want to leave you guys with is that E3 season is upon us, and we will be doing a whole lot of coverage on pretty much everything E3 the week of. So make sure you come here to the Hyper Arcade Turbo Bros YouTube channel so you can get all of my thoughts, my impressions, and everything. And maybe I'll try and have the other bros on the show as well. But until then, everybody, the way that you can stick with us and get all these videos as soon as they come out is by subscribing. That's the most important part. I have 131, I think, 131 of you awesome turbros now. So I definitely want to see more and share my thoughts with you guys. So until then, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that goodness. And most of all, comment in the section below, in the comments section. Let me know, what do you think of M. Bison? Do you think he's pretty awesome? Do you think he's kind of lame? What do you think of Charlie? What do you think of Street Fighter V as a whole? And most of all, provide some pretty good reasons, guys. I mean, I will absolutely engage in some discussions with you guys. But if it's a matter of uh, Street Fighter V, stupid cap Crapcom, no, like, Mega Man. <laughs> if it's that kind of stuff, guys, I'm not going to participate in the argument. If you can give me, you know, some good stuff to talk about, I'll absolutely engage in some discussions with you guys. But until then, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Turbo out.